Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is Solutions of Equations. This is uh, chapter 8, uh, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. Okay, here we go. So here's our, our common core strand for our teachers, and our question here is how, how do we determine whether a number is a solution of an equation? So we're going to use the substitution property in this lesson. So an equation, you guys, has an equal sign. So it's a statement that shows two math expressions are equal. So if you ever see an equal sign, then that's an equation. Okay, so here's some examples. 4 plus 9 equals 13. 20 equals P minus 4. 7X equals uh, 42. So if there's an equal sign, then it's called an equation. And we solve uh, equations if there's a variable. So this one we won't solve because this is not... Uh, this is not a variable equation right here, but here's a variable right here, so we can solve this one. Here's a variable right here, so we can solve this one. So a solution of an equation is just a value of a variable that makes an equation true, okay? So, <clears throat> for example, in this equation, y plus 7 equals 11, y equals 4 could be a solution because 4 plus 7 equals 11. Okay, so that would be a solution. All right, so let's try one here. So the Bella Vista High School Chess Club lost five of their 29 matches last year. The equation W plus 5 equals 29 can be used to find the team's number of wins, and we're going to call the wins W. So determine whether W equals 14 or W equals 29 is a solution of this equation, and tell what the solution means. Okay, so some of you guys already know how to do this in your head, and that's okay, but this one here, this lesson, they want you to plug in these values, so we're going to use the substitution here to determine the solutions. Okay, so let's go ahead and check to see if W equals equals 14 as a solution. So we'll substitute W in for, for uh, or, I'm sorry, 14 in for W. So instead of uh, W plus 5, it's now 14 plus 5. So it's 14 plus 5 equal to 29. Well, that's when we add those together. 14 plus 5 equals 19. And so 19 does not equal. So this means does not equal. I'll, sh I'll talk about that in just a second right there. An equals bar with a slash going through it that means does not equal, and 19 does not equal 29 right there. So uh, the equation is not true when W equals 14, so 14 is not a solution, okay? So that math symbol with the equal sign and a slash through it just means not equals to, and we'll use that a lot in this lesson, okay? All right, so check whether uh, uh, W equals 24 is a solution, okay? So here's our equation, W plus 5 equals 29. So we'll go ahead and substitute in 24 in for W. So there it is. So now we add those together. So 24 plus 5 is 29, and 29 does equal 29. So the equation is true when W equals 24. So W equals 24 is a solution. All right, and that just means that the team won 24 games. Remember, W was how many games they won, W standing for winning, and that was the answer. All right, so determine how an algebraic equation such as x plus 1 equals 4 is different from a numerical equation such as uh, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Well, we kind of talked about that. An algebraic equ equation includes at least one variable. Later on, we're going to have, when you guys get into high school, you have more than one variable. You have two variables, sometimes three variables. And when you get into things like calculus, there's even more than that. Anyway, so, uh, but a numerical equation doesn't have a variable like this numerical equation. There is no variable. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So we can't find solutions for the, I'm sorry, we can find solutions for this um, algebraic equation right here where there's a variable right there, but we can't find a solution because there's nothing to solve for. It just says 3 plus 1 equals 4. So numerical equations we don't solve, but uh, algebra equations we do solve. We solve for the variables, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's determine whether the given value of the variable is a solution of the equation, okay? So x minus uh, 0 0.7 equals 4.3. Does 3.6 work, okay? So we'll go ahead and substitute in the 3.6 in for x. So instead of x minus 0 0.7, we're going to go ahead and put 3.6 minus 0 0.7. All right, and think of 36. 36 minus 7 is 29, so 3.6 minus 0.7 is um, uh, 2.9. So let's go ahead and subtract, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and write it equals or not equals. Does 2.9 equal 4.3? No, it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and put this symbol in here, the not equal symbol right there, okay? So the equation 
uh, is not true when x equals 3.7, so x equals 3.7 is not a solution. Okay, easy enough. All right, so how about this? So determine whether uh, C, where C equals 3 fourths, is a solution of this equation. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and substitute in the given value for the variable. So our C is equal to 3 fourths. So instead of having 1 third C, which is 1 third times C, we're going to plug in 3 fourths for C. So it's going to be 1 third times 3 fourths. So let's go ahead and plug that in right there. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and simplify. Okay, and if you guys remember cross canceling when you're multiplying fractions if you have a common factor that can cancel out here three goes into three in both of these threes one time so we can cross cancel and change them to ones because we divided them by threes and then we're left with uh, one times one on top which is one over one times four on bottom which is four so we're left with one fourth and are they equal is one fourth equal to one fourth yes that is equal so the equation is true when c equals three fourths so three uh, c equals three fourths is a solution on that easy huh okay and that's what this lesson's asking you to do is plug them in you guys so here we go so uh, the school year is nine months uh, school has already been in session for five months, so the equation m plus 5 equals 9 can be used to determine the number of months left in the school year. So here we're going to use mental math, and I know you guys want to do that on the other ones also, but just follow the directions, what the book is asking you to do, and what your teacher is asking you to do especially, okay? So here we're going to use uh, mental math to find the solutions of the equations, okay? So what number plus 5, so what number m plus 5 equals 9? Can you guys think of a number when we add to 5 equals 9? Sure, 4 plus 5 equals 9. So uh, now we can go ahead and check by using the substitution. Uh, we can check to see if 4 is a solution. So 4 plus 5, does that equal 9? Yes, that sure does equal 9. So m equals 4 is the solution of the equation, and 4 months of school is remaining right there. Okay. All right, so give an example of an equation uh, whose solution is y equals 7. So there's infinitely many equations, you guys, and we'll just choose a simple one here. So explain how to know that we know that these, um, uh, how we know the equation has this solution. Okay, so here's an example, and this is one of infinitely many here, you guys. So uh, y minus 2 equals 5. You know, the solution is 7 because uh, 7 minus um, 7 minus 2 equals 5. Golly, I almost made it without a mistake. 7 minus 2, let's get that 2 in there, equals 5, okay? So so our answer is, um, our, there's, our, there's an example of this. But we could have chosen something like um, uh, 6 times y equals uh, 42, and 6 times 7 equals 42, or you can do anything. You can do anything divided by 14 divided by y equals uh, 2, because 14 divided by 7 equals 2. There's infinitely many equations. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.